Welcome back to more Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, everyone. So last time we took care of the stage known as Konal Kurok or Konal Kurach, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, you know, we defeated the zombie dragon, or dragon zombie. Freaking me and my mix-ups, man. But uh, this time we are going to be taking on Mount Kalanda. So you can only access Mount Kalanda, I believe, from the third year onward. So let's select Mount Kalanda. Okay. Oh, really? Ooh. A big discount, huh? You won't be able to change party members. I mean, in single player, it doesn't matter. But yes, I'm all set. 500 gil, let's go. Okay. So yeah, if you find Kalan the Sulfur, then uh, get it and give it to him. I mean, hopefully I can do it, you know. Hopefully I can. But anyway, Mount Kalanda, I really like it. I do. I love it a lot. So, you know, he just swims through the freaking thing. Whatever. That was weird, but okay. Here we go. Mount Kalanda. As you can see, there are no elements. I mean, that's weird because you would think that maybe fire would be one, you know, because it's freaking Mount Kalanda. I mean, for God's sake, you know, but no. The game's like, nope. A volcano belched its flames across the southern sea. So its ashes then became a blot on history. Some may learn what moves their heart within that fiery blaze. Journeys that they long to start beyond the shadow's gaze. Okay, so that right there is Mount Kalanda. So I actually really, really like Mount Kalanda. Yes, believe it or not, you know I do. All right, here we go. So let's do this. Um, what I'm gonna do first is uh, go all the way down here and go ahead and turn on my cure ring, which is right here. So you know that way it's always next to attack, pretty much. Um, I don't know what else I can do, but I will put a phoenix down for sure. Let me go ahead and lay that down. All these other things I don't really know at the moment, but we'll see. Okay. It's so hot. Yeah, I know. I know, man. It's because I'm here, you know? <laughs> I remember that freaking joke all the time, you know, in elementary school and middle school, you know? And then eventually you're like, wow, it's so stupid. Like, it really is. Okay, so let's see here. These enemies should be familiar to everybody. Pretty much like floating deaths, although some of them did appear in a Mushroom Forest too, I believe. Now, the enemies here, I believe, have some pretty high HP. At least these flyers do. I don't know about everyone else, though. Yeah, look at this shit. Yeah, these enemies... They don't fuck around. They don't. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna be killing any more of these, man. Look at this sh Oh my god. I mean, what the hell? <clears throat> okay, so... Oh, let's see, one second. Okay, here. Oh, what the hell is that over there? Another floating death. Which I'm going to ignore. Screw you. Okay, so... There is another chest over here, though, and I kind of want it. This one. What does that have? Nothing? Okay, well, that's jerkish. I should have said dickish. I don't know why I didn't say that. Are you freaking kidding me, Mog? How are you tired already? It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, what is this? I don't know. Um. Should he wish to ascend higher, toss the urn into the fire. Do want this fire? No. It was not that fire. I mean, the game needs to be more specific and more clear. I'm, you know, I'm just saying, you know? I'm just saying. I don't know what to do now. I mean... What if I go this way? 
How do I reset this shit? The game is not clear. I'm, that's not my fault, man. I'm just... It's seriously not. Warrior's weapon. What is this? A chunk of iron, which I don't really care for. Okay, um... Yeah, I don't know how to advance anymore, people. I just blew up this damn thing. Do I need to freaking zoom? Wait, wait, do I need to go back and... I don't know. I don't know, actually. That's a good question, right? I guess. I mean, like I said, it's not my fault. The game did not specify which fire. I threw it into the fire and it didn't work. Oh my god. You freaking Moogle thingy. God damn it. No, wait a minute. Wait, it did raise. Why is this... Was it like that the whole time? Was I blind? I think I was a blind guy, man. What the hell was that? Okay, that guy's dead. And I don't need that. So I'm gonna come over here because I believe the Moogle house is somewhere over here on this side, I think. Hey look, a thing. A flame shield. That's not for me though, that's for uh, Clavitz. Okay, you are dead and that contains nothing. Okay. Interesting. What the heck? There are too many enemies here, man. Way too many. I'm gonna go back down because I think I missed the house. It's right here. Yeah, this one. Okay, let's check it. Alright, here you are. Why do you have a fire? You're, you're in Mount Kalanga. Or Kalanda, whatever. It's already hot enough, man. It's like, it's like going, going to Texas, you know, like living in Texas in the summer in 105 degree weather and then turning on your fire. Like, what the hell? That doesn't make any sense. That's strange. But then again, you know, they're Moogles, so they're supposed to be weird. Okay, I need to kill you because you're like annoying me, you're in the way, sort of. Not really, actually. But I just want to kill you, you know? Okay, well that's a gourd potato, which I... Okay, I don't really care about that. Okay, you need to move. So let's see. I think there's three different ways to go here, and it's actually not that... What the heck is that? Get... Are you freaking kidding me? You. What? Get up! What are you doing? Also, I don't know what the hell that sword was about. That big giant ass sword. Okay, I'm not gonna deal with those guys. Also, I keep going to the wrong side. Oh no. Oh, not these guys again. Not these guys. I hate them. I hate them so much. Okay, so I'm just... What the hell? Run, 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 damn it. Run. Wait, 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 what? I'm ready at the boss? Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, my God. Well, the boss here is known as the Iron Giant. Any Final Fantasy fans should recognize this, you know, type of enemy here. The Iron Giants with these huge massive swords, you know. Oh god. They are bringing him more weapons. More weapons of mass destruction, man. What the heck? Okay, this Iron Giant man, he's on some freaking steroids. We gotta kill this guy, you know? We gotta kill him. We are the MLB, okay? And we shall stop you. We hate you. Alright. Let's do this. 
so... Oh my god, he's got his little fiends. Okay, now this guy does some heavy damage. Be extremely careful. His attacks do ridiculous amounts of damage. Let's see here. Nope. Okay, that's... That only did... Okay, that did about a one and a half. And then I killed this guy, though, because it's going to be annoying. Okay, at least we're dead now, you know? Hurry up, Kira. You're getting way too long to cast. Yeah, if you're at range, you're just going to do that move that you kind of just saw there. Usually, he's going to do... What the hell? He just got rid of a sword. Oh, okay, you're going to get another sword or something. I don't know what you're doing, but okay. There we go. And you miss. I guess I'll just take the hits right now. Okay, now that move did a lot of damage. Now that one... Okay, I keep scrolling to the one side. I'm... I keep cycling the wrong way, man. So yeah, the boss is not too difficult, but the damage he does can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. Especially that move. That move does a lot of damage. Okay, why did I think that keep, like, it would have been a good idea to keep attacking him? Why did I think that? I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep attacking you. No. What are you doing now? Oh, shoot. Okay, that was interesting there. I guess in the meantime, I'll just heal, you know? Whatever. And... Focus! I guess it's better to stay on the right side, usually. Because his sword is on the, you know, his own right side, so stay on your right. And that way, he has a higher chance to miss with the attack, typically. Okay, well we did that. Let's go ahead and grab our drop of myrrh. Mail Moogle at your service, Kubo. Why, thank you. Thank you for this amazing mail. Actually, it's not amazing. I mean, the mail is actually one of my least favorite parts of the game. Because it's like, what the hell, man? Like, it's just, it's so random sometimes. Whoops, wrong, wrong one. I definitely remember, or, sorry, recommend the Rainbow Grapes. There's also this mysterious liquid, but there's no way I'm going to drink that. I can tell that I'll get sick from it just by that awful scent and taste. It's all the same. It smells fine to me. I'm just saying... It's all the same. It's an item. I'm gonna send you... Um... Iron again. Yes. Okay. So with that I am done, of course. I'm only at 13 minutes, man. Like, I can do some more stuff. I really can. I mean, after I get the artifact, we are going to be seeing a scene of, you know, the year wrapping up and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, let's see what I can get here. Oh, shit. That's... Oh, damn, that's a moon pendant. Well, pretty obvious here, but I gotta get to the... I can get Surin. I can get Surin. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this, of course. And just read this one. My fourth year with the caravan is over. So many memories from my earlier adventures have dimmed. From the joys of chance encounters to the suspense of my first battle, it would be a pity if the goal of gathering Murray became the only thing that drove me forward. But I can't look back only at the past. The quest for Murray means hope for the future. Yeah. I guess. Year five. Let's see. Water... Earth, wind, and fire. Okay. So I would need fire to get past that place to get to them, but I don't really care about that then. So I just need water for the first area. I see. Okay. So I am, of course, back in my own village. How amazing is that? Not really, actually. Hello, family. Give me this money. 209 gil. Alright. So what can you make for me, dude? So you can't make mithril armor, you can make that, but that's useless. I already have mithril gloves, though. And that's pretty much it. Um... What about this? Sonic Lands. I already have that, though, don't I? I? Yeah, I do, I already have that. Okay, I can't actually do much. In terms of equipping stuff, you know? Sonic Lands... Yeah, see? What the hell? Okay, so I have to find another place. Somewhere else. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, do a cut. Okay, so these guys are actually talking to me again. Alright. Oh my god, shut up. The Lunari Desert. 
You know, it's funny because that's actually where we're gonna be going. Yeah, look at that, okay. Lightning brings the cactus pain. Now it all begins again. I've crumbled in, few reminisce. Its faulty beams will not be missed. All clues point to the Lunari Desert as home to the ruling element. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is actually a very, um... Great hint, in case it's your first time playing. That little rhyme net right there. Just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I need my... Do I already have water? I have water element, right? I can't even tell, is that water? In my chalice? Yes it is, okay. Okay, so let's see what this guy has here in Mars Pass. Like, what he can make? He can make mithril armor, he can make the shield, and he can make the glove. So, good thing he can do this. One mithril, 500 gil, I'll do it. Because I need it. Equip it. Okay. So that brings up my defense to 45 now. I can go ahead and go to my equipment. Yeah, look at that, see? <clears throat> my what? Mithril what? Hob? What the hell does that even mean? I don't know. But anyway, I can simply go here, go ahead and destroy that because it's wasting a spot. Okay, so that's all I can craft here. I guess it's time to move on to the next location to craft something else, you know? But I do want to buy some stuff, some items. Okay, so beginning from year number five, or at least maybe the second cycle of the Violus Sluice, once it begins, uh, you can say, or sorry, not say, what the hell am I talking about? This guy's gonna say that it's dried up. Yeah, so if you come over here, you actually will see that the guy is no longer here. His ship is gone, and you can walk pretty much all around here. Which is pretty cool, so now you're like, hmm, where can I actually, you know, set off to the next location? Well, he's in a different spot, but before that, I'm going around to the towns to, like, upgrade weapons and stuff, so that's why I've been, like, you know, not talking about the Jagon River yet. But in just a bit, I will. Okay, so if you go to Port CSULB, or Port Tipa in general, you know, and you go to the very bottom, I believe this is where the Judith can be found. Yes, he can be found here somewhere. I don't know, we'll see. Oh my god. It's a long, like, zigzag back and forth, you know? What the hell? What the hell is this? Okay, he is right, right here. Wait, is this the same guy? He looks different. Oh, you fled back here, huh? Okay. Yes, Luda. Let's go there. Let's go to Luda. Yep. If you can bring me a cactus flower from there, I'll give you a big discount. 300 gil, let's go. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Okay, so let's see where this takes us. I mean, actually, I already know where it's going to take us, but, you know, I'm just trying to build suspense here and all. Here we go. We're going to cross to Kalanda Islands, you know, past Mount Kalanda. And we're going to head all the way over here. To some other distant island. As you can see, there are two locations here, but we can only access one at the moment. Luda. Or Leuda, I don't know. So Leuda's a town, not a dungeon. Only thing is though, if you are not a Selkie, don't talk to people more than once. Because your money will get robbed. I wouldn't stay here about you. Oh shit, really? Really? Were you threatening? No, actually, it wasn't. Like, what the hell's in here? A chunk of bronze, oh great. An amazing thing, right? Not really, actually. Okay, so um, I just want to touch the merchants and shit. Hmm. I can't go over there. But yeah, as you can see, this town is pretty much just for Selkies. Just don't talk to people a lot. A little side business, but you're not making business with me though, what the hell? Yeah, okay, that leads back out. I don't want to go there yet. Instead, I want to come over here first. Because I believe this is where the Moogle place is. Actually, I don't think they do any business with you, man. Like, what the hell? No, they don't. They only sell to Selkies. You selfish Selkies? What the heck? Okay, so let's see. Go left and pass behind the tent to find a Moogle house on the other side. There's a tent. Is this what you meant? I don't know. There's actually probably more still, isn't there? I think. No, it's over here. Here we go. Waltz on in. Waltz, I love that word. Just waltzing on in, you know? 
Okay, well, I gotta talk to you. Yes. Okay, that's another match. I'm missing only three. Yep. And I know where they are, all three of them. Okay, yes, I got it. Thank you. Show me my stamp card again. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Almost complete. So yeah, apparently they don't, they don't do any business with you. What the hell is that? I thought they would do some business with you, but they don't. They do not. Like, even this freaking girl, you know? Like, this girl? Okay, I'm gonna show you something right now. My money's at 29.20. If I talk to you again... <laughs> oh my god. You lose one gill every time you talk to these freaking idiots. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Sorry if you're a Selkie fan, but I mean, they're thieves in here, okay? Like, seriously. So I hate them. Anyway, if you exit out this way, you will be taken out to... Over here, the top portion. Which leads to... The Linari Desert. Oh, yeah. No, wait, you can actually see the damn image, though. Wait. Oh, there's a scene. I thought... I was like, what the hell? Okay, we've already seen this scene before. Okay, this seems the same thing. It's just, it's still rock just mentions a different animal or, or monster every single time. Like, you know, the one I showed on screen last time was Flan. This time, it was something different. Okay, anyway, I didn't know what scenes could actually occur there. That was strange. Okay, so, Lenari Desert. As you can see, there's Earth Element. But yeah, that's it. However, there is a big secret to it, which I will be uh, showcasing, uh, I guess, next time. Sure, whatever, you know, why not? Why not, right? Uh, yeah, so I gotta get the Moogle House in there, and then the secret element, and then I gotta beat the boss as well. So we shall see. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.